Hey there guys, what's going on? My name is Cdox and I stream Sea of Thieves over on Twitch. And today I'm going to be teaching you guys the basics of PvP and sword and gunplay, including some uh, amazing tips for boarding and then also just some really good strategies that the top players are implementing right now. So with that being said, I hope you all enjoy the video. And real quick guys, if you do want to see me make these videos live and just play Sea of Thieves, um, getting some amazing tucks and steals, and just some amazing PvP plays, be sure to go follow the link down below and hop into my next stream. I'm currently doing a 3 plunder pass giveaway at 15 subs, so I hope you guys enjoy the video and have a good one. So guys, the very first form of combat I'm going to be teaching you guys is sword play. This is definitely the most common and there is a sort of meta around it. So what do you say that we get right into the explanation? So swords are definitely one of the most common. Everyone has one on their loadout, except for those rare breed of double gunners. So what do you say that we go over the basics of what you can do? We well, obviously have your very common three hit combo. Then you just have your single hit. You can block with the sword. You could do a block or dodge with it by holding down the block and then jumping in a certain direction. And you can even combine directions to do it at the diagonals. And then you have your sword lunge, which can be done just by holding attack. But something that you're going to notice is that by blocking first and then holding down attack at the same time, you're actually going to get a lot further. And then if you combine it with a jump, you're going to get the max distance. Now, sometimes when you are sword lunging, there's going to be obstacles that you need to go over. For example, I cannot sword lunge over this rock right now. You see it sits me right on top of it so if i'm trying to go over something i will look down and the sword lunge will bounce me over now one of the most popular metas going around right now is actually just sword lunging into your enemies for attack damage if you group them up it can deal insane damage to multiple people at once not only that but the sword is great at crowd controlling just because its hit reg is just so much wider than all the other weapons in the game now if we actually want to utilize specifically the dodging while boarding here's what you're going to want to do and this is probably the best way to do it if you do not know how to gun dodge so hold down block while you're getting onto the ladder then right when you get on you want to dodge towards the capstan so in the sloop it is going to be towards the back of the ship but on the galleon and on the brigantine it is going to be towards the more middle or the front of the ship so get on and then dodge right out of the way because what most people are going to be doing is they're going to be waiting for an easy one blunder shot right on the ladder and if you dodge out of the way, you might be able to dodge it in time, or you might just be dodging, you know, sword hits or something else like that. Not only, but also gets you really close to the anchor really quickly, so you could go for that quick anchor. So the next weapon that I'm going to be going over is the blunderbuss. Now, I would almost never recommend using the blunderbuss for these reasons. Number one, you actually have to muzzle stuff the player to actually get any good damage out of it. Now yes, if you are very close to the player, it is a guaranteed one shot. But if you are any further away, you're doing just as much as hitting them with a wet napkin. Now, the one situation that I'd recommend using the blunderbuss in is spine camping. If you know how to, how about I teach you these spots on the sloop real quick, just so that you can utilize it in arena and get practice doing it. So the spawn points on the sloop are right here right in front of the or kind of like right behind the wheel then you have one right here in the very bow of the ship kind of uh right in between the two harpoons and then your last spawn point is going to be right here so the next weapon that i'm going to be going over is the pistol or the flintlock personally this is my favorite of the three guns for these two main reasons number one it still does a decent amount of damage while being very accurate right if you are aiming down sights it is going to hit where your iron sights are showing. If you want a good iron sight on a pistol and you don't have the obsidian, I'd recommend this, which is the Occultured Aristocrat. And you get this by having up a Reaper's Mark and then hitting someone with a Peace Ball. It's very easy to do. Or I'd recommend just the regular Aristocrat pistol. You can see that it has a pretty much perfect iron sight and right at the top of that little notch is where you're going to be aiming. So the Sniper or Eye of Reach has the best accuracy and the best range out of all the weapons. For obvious reasons, because it is shaped like a musket with a little scope on top of it that has a crack in it pointing you to the center. Now you can still use the same uh, s s cancel strategy right there so that you kind of cancel the animation out and just go straight into the shot. Or you can also just keep your range from the person and just try and get a few shots off them. Now when you're getting into these fights in water, something I want to do 
is to know how to dodge other people's shots. Now there's no science to it, you can strafe side to side, which I find very effective. But the most effective, in my opinion, is to go down and start doing very large circles, either on the right analog stick or on your mouse. Now this is going to give your player a really weird animation, which your enemy will kind of be confused by, and they might not want to shoot at you, risk that they're going to have to reload, giving you an opportunity to shoot back at them. So now that we know the basics of each weapon, I'm going to teach you guys how to double gun, which is kind of bringing in the advanced characteristics of all of the guns in the game. Now the base technique that you're going to need to use when utilizing any of two guns is how to cancel the bringing up animation. Now what I mean by the bringing up animation is this one right here where your characters bring up the gun. You're going to notice that while it's happening, you can't shoot. You have to wait for it to be over to finally shoot it. But there's a loophole. If you are sprinting, then you can instantly aim down sights. So how you do this is you want to shoot your first weapon, then you want to switch over and then start sprinting right away. And then when you do that, once you take your first step sprinting, you want to instantly aim down the sights. So it's gonna look something like this. Now, even though you did aim down sights, pretty much instantly, it is going to give you a little bit of lag. Now, this is something that Sea Thieves implemented a little bit later on into the game because they realized that double gunning was OP if you could shoot two bullets in under half a second. So guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you enjoyed it or if you learned something new, please be sure to leave a like down below because it really gives me a great understanding of how you guys are perceiving my videos. If you want to see something new or if you want to add on to any of the content that I just gave you guys, be sure to comment down below. And if you guys want to see me go over anything else in the game or if you're struggling with anything, just let me know and I'll do my best to make a video on it. As always, thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you have an amazing day.